2019 YZ450 FX Super Motard. Looking proper. <laughs> I'm going to tell you how I probably am going to destroy the Supermoto. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Continue to leave video suggestions, but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. Oh, baby, I'll tell you, this thing is absolutely woo, fire. Fire, I tell you, baby. Just got to make sure I turn all the lights on. Bam. Turn everything on. <laughs> That's what you have to do when you have a street legal dirt bike. But you know what, guys? A lot of you guys have been asking me. Woo! <laughs> Get a power, baby! <laughs> this thing is crazy, man. A lot of you guys have been asking me, Cycle Cruiser, man. Show us uh, you're doing a valve adjustment on your YZ 450FX. I want to see you do the piston kit change. How, you know, what are you going to do as far as this high maintenance on this YZ Cycle Cruiser, man? Give us an update. What's going on, baby? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. Check that out, guys. Now, that's real horsepower. Look at that. Awesome. That's what I love about Ohio. Get out here in our park and just be riding horses. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna tell you, man. I told you before I bought this bike. That's why I didn't buy a 450. That's why I didn't want to convert a dirt bike to a supermoto. Uh, that's why I didn't want to buy a KTM 500 EXCF. That's why I didn't want to buy a Honda CRF 450L and every other street legal type dirt bike or dual sport or supermoto or whatever because I'm not hip with all the maintenance you got to do on this so you know what I'm gonna do for you guys and my channel I'm going to ride this for a whole year without doing any maintenance other than oil changes every probably about every 15 hours uh, clean the air filter I'll do that maintain the chain stuff like that you know tighten the spokes all that stuff but I am not going to do a valve adjustment or piston kit change for a year on this bike we'll see what happens if the bike doesn't start or if it craps out I blow the engine up destroy it so what I'll get the engine redone <laughs> or buy another engine I'm just curious to see what I can do, how far I can go without doing maintenance, at least for a year. Now after a year, I will have the valves checked and have a new piston put in once a year. Depends on how much I ride though, because I don't. I have three bikes and you know we have winter time and I can't ride that much. We just got out of a polar vortex, it was like minus 10. Today it's like 60 and now all the uh, snow is melting. But I want to see how far I can go before, you know, see how long this bike will last. Because a lot of you guys are telling me cycle cruising because you ride mostly street. Obviously, you can extend the service intervals. But I'm just curious to see if I can go at least a year. Man. I do plan on taking this bike uh, to the motocross track as soon as season is here and the park's open. I'm throwing my dirt wheels on this. I'm heading to the uh, our motocross track. And they also have some trails out there too uh, in a couple of the parks. So that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to that. That'll be my very first time on the track. And we'll see what I can do. We'll see if I can do some proper jumps out there. <laughs> and see if, <laughs> see if I can avoid having a real fooped up day. And, uh, but I'll tell you, this thing is absolutely amazing off-road. It... This thing destroys my WR250R in every way except for maintenance and stuff, of course. But man, this thing, oh, night and day power. Woo! Good times, baby. Woo! This thing is a beast. Woo! -hoo! Woo! -hoo! 
<laughs> I love it, baby. Man. 105. <laughs> Off-road, the weight is night and day. It's, it's channels like a mountain bike off-road. Oh man, I can't wait to ride this sap sucker properly off-road. But I'm thinking about adding some dual sport tires, man. Um, you know, I'm not really hit. These Shinkos are cool. Don't get me wrong. I like the Supermoto because you can fly. You can you can take it really low around turns and stuff. You know, I'm not trying to do no elbow slides and stuff, but it is fun. And it's more confidence inspiring know you can knowing that you can take the bike lower without the rear sliding out on, on you like you can with uh, the you know the DOT dual sport knobbies. You can't you gotta be real careful, you know, off uh, you know on the streets and around the corners with those those knobbies. You only can take it so low. But uh, for the most part I haven't had any problem with the WR250R man. I don't know why more of you guys don't get into uh, dual sport and supermoto uh, uh, motorcycles because this is so much fun and it just it's so thin lightweight it's like I'm on a rocket bicycle man it's amazing we need to get more people into this sport man you guys need to be in all the different categories of motorcycles you know? but anyways guys just giving you an update letting you know what I'm gonna do and uh, we'll see how it, I'll give you an update. We'll let you know how it works out, man. Uh, for those of you guys that want to see the build I did on this, the Supermoto build, I'll include the link to that playlist in the description and comment section of this video on uh, full build and how to make it street legal. If you want to get my gear, you know, my gloves, my camo pads, my new helmet, jackets, cameras, all my stuff, I'll include links in the description and comment section of my videos or go to my website, cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, my gear, and that's links to all my stuff thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel bug out moto where i customize a van for my motorcycle so i can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere subscribe to my youtube channel bug out moto <laughs>